Welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday, and that means it's time for another mail call. Up first, we got a package from Gary Mulford. This is three Japan vehicles. remember what these are. So you might kind of at first first glance recognize these as um, early Matchbox models, but you would be wrong. You would be incorrect. If we look at the bottom, you can see the construction of these are a little bit different. Um, there's no gate in the back or anything. It says Matchbox. So what is it? These are knockoffs. Um, these were made by a Japanese company. Um, I did a, a previous video on um, some made in Hong Kong, some plastic versions, uh, and these are actually die cast. So these are metal, they're very good quality. Uh, you see the axles on this one are a little rusted. I might try to see if I can do a cleanup on so You can see they were really <laughs> really trying to compete, really trying to create something that could go head to head with Matchbox. Um, I will probably shoot a comparison video in the future. I think I have the Matchbox versions of almost all of these models. Um, so we'll do a, a side by side comparison on these. Um, I believe they are from Japan um, and I think they were made probably shortly after World War II would be my guess. Um, probably about the same time that Matchbox was kicking off in the UK. And uh, for whatever reason, yeah, right there we go on the door. You can kind of see it. it's marked Japan. So for whatever reason, whether it was shipping or otherwise, um, they were making knockoffs of all of the Matchbox models in Japan for Japanese kids. So, kind of cool find. Uh, like I said, the one of the fringe side collections that I've gotten into uh, from Matchbox are some of these knockoffs. And um, I bought these in a lot, uh, the whole group. And I think I paid about, oh, I think they were $3 a piece, $2, $3 a piece, something like that, um, plus shipping. So, nice finds to have. Next, I've got a box from Randall Dillaber. This was an eBay purchase. So we got here. Pretty well wrapped. Always appreciate that. All right, so this is this is a model of yesteryear, um, and I picked this one up because I want to try uh, something new. Specifically, this one is missing one of the horses, um, and so I want to see if that's something that I might be able to repair. Um, I don't actually collect the uh, the models of yesteryear. Um, I try to keep it just through the the regular series one um, because you can't collect everything but um, I saw this I think I I picked this up for less than five dollars I think um, because of the condition it's in and so I thought you know that might make a fun video um, trying to repair that and then um, I think this might be a giveaway for me um, as one of our one of our giveaways for our Facebook page uh, after I get it repaired. So, kind of a neat piece um, and something I wanted to kind of try my skills at to see what I could do about that busted missing uh, horse on that side. Next padded envelope, this one's from Tony Atkins. 
Thank you, Tony. That's interesting. All right. So this is something that I have been looking for for quite some time. Um, these don't come up very often, not as an individual. Usually when I find these, they're, they're part of the larger set. Um, and sometimes it's the sign only, missing the base, um, or, or these are broken somewhere. All, most of this upper piece, this is all plastic, um, which means that they just didn't last as long. Um, I have a set of pumps that go with this that I'm getting ready to start a restoration on. This was one of the only pieces I was missing on that. So I was really excited to find this one. It has the original stickers, all of the plastic is intact. Um, so this is gonna complete one of uh, my other restorations. So really, really super excited about that piece. And then last up, got a box. This one's from Nancy Michael. This was also an eBay purchase. Always appreciate that. A steak truck. So this is this is a model I've actually been after for quite a while. Um, I have all the, the later versions, and as I've been trying to complete my Series One set, um, a lot of these original issue, these first versions with the metal wheels, um, that you know these are a bit harder to find. And just, I think, mainly because they didn't make as many of them. You know, when you get into the later models, they made millions a year. Um, and so, you know, I ascribe a different value as a collector to some of the more recent models than I do these older original ones that there just weren't as many of. And I've bid on a bunch of these, and they always seem to get too high for, uh, for my taste, for my flavor. Um, and this is actually one that started out as uh, a very, very expensive listing and I kind of followed it and followed it and after it was relisted about three or four times, um, I made an offer on it and was able to get it um, at a much more reasonable price. Um, so super excited to get that one and as with all of my eBay purchases, um, shipping is killer on these things and you pay five six bucks for a model and then another five dollars to ship it to you and it absolutely does not cost any more to ship two or three or five cars than it does to ship one um, so anytime i can make a decent purchase um, i always will look and see what other listings does that seller have um, and that's what i did here i i was able to negotiate this one uh, agreed to purchase it, and then this was a second piece um, that was also there. Um, you can see it's missing the back door, which is something that we can probably fix. Um, the paint on this is really not in that bad a shape. It's missing most of the decal on this side and almost all of the decal on this side. Um, but, you know, it's not crushed, it's straight, um, and I think I think I can get reproduction pieces for the back of that. If not, um, I do. I think I do have another one of these models in my collection that has that back piece intact. Um, and one thing I have planned for the channel coming up is I want to try to do some casting, um, making some of my own pieces or making molds from good models I have and see if I can cast a piece um, that maybe I still need. Um, so that, that might be a candidate for uh, doing that. So glad to add both of these um, earlier models into my collection. So that'll do it for our mailbag this week. Uh, don't forget to click the like button, uh, comment below, and uh, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next week.